A correlation is a statistical device that measures strength or degree of a supposed linear association between two or more variables. The correlation coefficient, designated by the letter R, is a number that indicates both direction and magnitude of association. The direction is indicated by the sign of the correlation coefficient, whereas the strength is shown by the distance of the correlation coefficient from zero with positive or negative 1.0 showing perfect correlation. Let's practice running a correlation analysis in PASW to find the result to this research question. Is there a relationship between academic performance and internet access? The null hypothesis states that internet access makes no difference, while the alternate hypothesis states that there is a difference. So let's find out. After locating and opening data file part 2.sav in PASW statistics, find and click on the analyze menu, scroll down to correlate, then select bivariate. So again, we're interested in the correlation between academic performance and internet activity. The left box contains all of the variables in our data file, but we're only interested in the variables that are going to help us answer our research question. The variables post-test and GPA indicate academic performance, while the variable active shows internet activity. So we're going to select those. Select the variable post-test then click on the transfer arrow button to move it to the variables list box to the right. Repeat the same steps with variables GPA and active. Before we continue, make sure the Pearson checkbox is turned on as well as the two-tailed radial button. Afterwards, click on the OK button and wait for the output viewer window to open up. So let's take a look at our correlations matrix to find the answer to our research question. Is there a relationship between academic performance and internet access? If you look at where GPA and active intersect on the Pearson correlation line, you'll see 0 0.448 with an asterisk next to it. Read the notation on the bottom of the correlation table. Correlation is significant at the 0.05 level, which is what our alpha is set to. So therefore, the correlation coefficient is statistically significant, meaning we can reject the null hypothesis, stating internet access makes no difference on academic performance. To see what the actual p-value or significance is, See where GPA and active intersect on the SIG line. So again, the correlation coefficient between GPA and active is positive 0 0.448. This is a positive correlation at a magnitude of 0 0.448, meaning that academic performance increases with increased internet activity. One is a perfect correlation. That's why you'll notice when a variable is crossed against itself, like GPA with GPA, the Pearson correlation is always 1. Now let's look at the R value or correlation coefficient between post-test and active. Here the correlation coefficient is 0 0.476 with two asterisks next to it. If you read the notation on the bottom of the table, it states that two asterisks mean Correlation is significant at the 0.01 level. This is less than the alpha we set at 0.05, so if the correlation is significant at the 0.01 level, then it is also significant at the 0.05 level. Because remember that in hypothesis testing, the p-value or significance has to be equal or be less than the alpha in order for us to reject the null hypothesis therefore showing statistical significance. The direction of R between post-test and active is positive, showing again that academic performance increases with an increase in internet activity. The strength of the correlation is 0 0.476, which is slightly stronger than the correlation between GPA and active. 